Good afternoon to all speakers and participants. I would like to start by thanking Penal Reform International for inviting Portugal to participate in this side event of the 14 United Nations Congress. We decided to co-sponsor this event given the importance of continuing to promote discussions on live imprisonment and other criminal sanctions, such the death penalty in the current framework of criminal justice systems. I would start by saying that live imprisonment was abolished in Portugal in 1884, after the abolition of death penalty in 1852 for political crimes, and in 1867 for common crimes. The Portuguese constitution of 1976, which was adopted after the fall of a long dictatorship, makes clear in its first article that the Portuguese Republic is based on the dignity of the human person who must be respected and protected. This constitutional principle imposes the prohibition of the death penalty, life imprisonment, torture and ill treatment, and of inhuman or degrading punishment, slavery and the forced labor. It is also the dignity of the human person that underpins fundamental principles which justify the imposition of criminal sanctions, such as the principle of criminal prevention, the principle of necessity, of proportionality, personal liability, and the resocialization of the offenders. In this context, the Portuguese constitution expressly provi provides life sentences or sentences of, of unlimited or indefinitive periods. By setting a maximum limit of 25 years for prison sentences, the constitution intends to guarantee the, convict, the convicted person an opportunity for social reintegration after serving his sentence. Life sentence will deprive the convicted person of any hope of future integration into society, constituting an unnecessary punishment and representing from this perspective a violation of human dignity protected by the Constitution. At the same time, the imposition of excessively long sentences should also be subject to reflection, since such penalties lead inmates living prison at an advanced age, stigmatized by society and without any chance of reintegration. In recent years, we have seen trends advocating a general increase in the length of criminal sentence and the introduction of live imprisonment as a response to the growth in various types of crime. These issues arrive from time to time also in Portugal, boasted by populist speeches around security, amplified in social media in the context of economic and social crisis, now aggravated with the COVID-19 pandemic. It's not, however, on the Portuguese government's agenda to submit any legislative proposal in that sense but rather to seek alternative measures to prison for less serious crimes, as well as to make custodial sentences more effective regarding rehabilitation. I will end now by wishing everyone good discussions in these important issues. Thank you very much. <laughs>